Harvey, is every day a work day for you? Simple answer, yes. <laughs> every day is a work day. Yeah, there's a lot to do. Uh, if I'm not always in the studio, I'm on the phone, I'm emailing, I'm doing a ton of meetings. There's a lot of discussion, talking about what's coming up next, talking about you know the song that we're working on, talking about a scene. So it's always work. What time do you normally start your day and do you put in eight hours? Uh, I put in more like 18 hours and I start anywhere from you know, 9 or 10 in the morning and go till you know, 10 or 11, 12 at night, sometimes into the early morning if I'm working on a project. So it just really depends on where I am in, in the phase of the project. We always hear about entrepreneurs that they can't really turn it off. They're always working, whether they're at a restaurant and they're on, quote, vacation. Yeah. Um, how, do you, how do you deal with that as part of your life? I mean. Yeah, I do suffer from that a little bit. I, as I said, I have kids, so that pulls me out of it for sure. When I'm around my kids, I'm not really thinking about work at all. But uh, it's tough. If you love what you do, you want to you wanna continue to get better. You want to continue to grow. You want to build. At least I do. So, And I love making music. And I love working with the people that I work with. And I'm excited. It's not work to me. It's fun. How satisfied are you with your work at the end of the day? Or are there times when you're not satisfied and that's almost a good thing because it keeps pushing you? No, I think there's times when I'm satisfied. And I try not to stop a project until I'm satisfied. I don't do things that I don't like. I don't turn in things that I'm not proud of. So when I'm finished with a project, I'm usually pretty satisfied. I think production is a series of compromises though sometimes because you can't always get everything exactly the way you want. And I, maybe that's the perfectionist in me, but I'm always tinkering. I'm always trying to try something else. Let me try this tempo. Let me try and add this instrument or take this background vocal out or build this bigger and but that's the fun of it it's like building a you know a skyscraper and just doing anything you want just adding another floor and adding some more windows and just continuing to build this amazing kind of hopefully masterpiece and at the end of it if you're not happy you're not proud then you did something wrong you probably better go back and rework it so I, I get a lot of satisfaction from my finished projects was work ethic something you were born with or something over time you, you just picked up, whether it's the sports men and you, the I competitive? Think, yeah, I think it's a combination. I definitely was into working hard, but I learned a lot from my dad who was really, really a hard worker and he preached that at home a lot, you know, really dedicating yourself and sacrificing and uh, making the most of your talents. My mom and my dad were both musicians, so they uh, they were all about practicing and getting better. And then I had some great coaches. You know, I had an amazing high school coach, John Gofrido, and an amazing college coach, Lou Olson, who's in the Basketball Hall of Fame. And those guys both showed me the meaning of like setting a high bar, setting goals, accomplishing things you don't think you can even accomplish, and expecting more from yourself than you thought you could do. Um, and that definitely translated to music and I think that's something that a lot of musicians don't have because they didn't play sports like I, I played sports my whole life since I was I don't know seven years old I was playing sports all the way through college <clears throat> and playing in college at that high high level you have to be like hyper competitive and you have to be uh, sacrificing and, and intense and goal oriented and, and all the things that you have to do to play high level college basketball or professional basketball those aren't things that most musicians do so I think I, I brought that to this end of, of what I do and I, I don't know it's I think it's worked for me hopefully I haven't made too many people angry how competitive I am but I think it usually works I heard a quote one time that says if people in Hollywood aren't mad at you you're not doing anything right then <laughs> yeah I guess so I, I don't know I've tried to be easy to work with I've tried to be the person that people enjoy being around and I think at a certain level a lot of the CEOs of these huge companies you know that that's when it gets to the point where people are going to be mad at you one way or the other but right now I feel like I'm in a good place I feel like my company's in a good place people respect what we do uh, they find it easy to work with us I think it's still a service business at some point you're, you're providing somebody with a service so I think it's important that you know we treat people the right way and I don't know, hopefully people like me. Yeah, I actually meant it in the way that sometimes people in this town resent someone for getting a project that they didn't get or something like that. Yeah, like, no, I think that's true. And there's definitely some of that. 
I don't do that. I, I think there's so much great work that anytime somebody else gets something, I think it's great for them, you know, and, and uh, it's not like I'm dying to have all those other people's projects. I, I'm, I try and stay positive and I try and be thankful for what I have and I try and support other people and encourage them as well. So we need more of that in, in Los Angeles. We do, we do. I saw an infographic that talked about entrepreneurs and it said that some of the traits were that they were obsessive and that they kind of had ideas that other people couldn't understand, but that's what set them apart from other people. Um, do you think in some sense the people that come here maybe aren't obsessive enough, they're not competitive enough, and then they leave and go back home because they have friends and family waiting for them? Whereas if you have that sportsman mentality where you, you almost have to win, that's going to set you apart. Yeah, I think that is something that sets people apart. And I think anybody who's accomplished anything really, really amazing. I mean, there's a few that are lucky, but most are not lucky. It's just really hard work and it's being competitive or being intense and sacrificing. And that's really in any craft or trade. I think, you know, if you look at all the biggest actors, they're not the biggest actors for no reason. You know, I worked with a couple of them on this film. Reese Witherspoon is a powerhouse. You know, she produces, she directs, she acts, she sings, she does everything. And she's that successful because, number one, she's smart and really talented, but there's thousands of smart, talented people. She is driven, and I, I'm maybe I'm overstepping my bounds because I'm not that close with her, but from what I have observed, she's super hardworking, super smart, super focused, and uh, I'm sure somewhat competitive. She wants to win. So I think that is something that sets you apart.